Okay, here I'm back again. Hello, you guys. I'm Sandra Torgerson Gould, your Fierce Beauty CEO. Coming at you today, I'm, I, I sort of felt like I was experiencing some technical difficulties, the first one. But to be honest with you, I think Facebook is testing me. <laughs> Um, there's a new system with this and it didn't count down and there was some things added so I apologize um, I just thought I'd uh, redo it and take it all over again so again here this is take two of how to build a life of more by simply sharing the opportunity with Tyra Beauty so today I am coming at you uh, just before it's a, a Saturday before Easter and of course we have a huge festivity every year um, it's an annual event at our house House called um, we call our house the funny farm um, if you know me and my husband you probably understand why <laughs> um, but anyway we have so I'm um, coming to you today with the uh, part three of a training series that I started at the very beginning of the week so if you're just listening to this particular video uh, welcome I'm I'm again your Sondra Torgerson Gould your fierce 200 fierce beauty CEO and uh, coming with you you today since um, I have been here since the beginning and seen a lot of things and I thought I'd utilize this opportunity with all these new people coming in to our business to be able to help them and train them um, so we I did a, a three-part series basically added um, documents in and the one the first one it started off with the getting started guide um, or getting steady program which is in uh, conjunction with the getting started guide from headquarters at Tyra Beauty um, the the getting started program that I created is really kind of steps you through things that you can do to, to really just launch your business in a real successful way I have uh, like I said I've been here since the conception of Tyra Beauty and have seen um, a lot of different ways of succeeding and so we added those little uh, tips and tricks in here and really kind of give you a real itemized things of what you can do and how you can add Tyra Beauty into your business into your lives and be able to share with your community friends and family so um, again that was the part one um, and if you haven't seen it yet uh, it's a document that you can find in the America's Next Top team and you also have the ability to be able to print it out and be able to share it with your team so that's something that you can use too so the second part of the series was um, stacking up those bank signs so that was basically a sales system that I created to really break things down to make it really simple for you to be able to um, look and uh, figure out what you can do to stack up those bank signs. What do I say? How do I do things? That also included, um, you know, breaking down like two tie over shows, two tie over expresses, and also shared with you a little bit about how to set up a tie over show, which is what we call a, a party here at Tyra Beauty. So again, um, that is also part two. Now today we're going to be talking about part three, which is kind of an exciting um, part of our business. It, it actually um, it is the It's basically about sharing the opportunity with others and building your own um, business and that you can be proud of here at Tyra Beauty. And I also want to, in saying all that, there's a lot of different ways of approaching this business, and I want to make sure that I address and honor all of that. So if you are one of those individuals that are not interested in building a crew, I totally get you because when I first started, I was I was kind of in that sort of realm myself. Um, I know when I was exposed to this type of business, a direct sales um, social selling company, I was exposed to a lot of people that kind of kind of shoved it in my face and was kind of spammy. I always say it's kind of spammy. Like, oh, you should be doing this. You should be doing this. And I'm like, well, why should I be doing this? Why should I be doing this? Anyway, and so I want to honor and respect that. So if you're here just literally to um, sell ty enough Tyra Beauty products so you can earn some free makeup, Hello, there's room for you here, there too. But if you're wanting a little bit more, um, maybe you want to retire from or you want to quit your full-time job that you hate, right? And spend a little bit more time with your little ones or spend a little bit more time doing the things that you'd like to do. Or if you're looking for a little bit more financial freedom and to be able to, you know, um, not have to be a slave to the billable hour and go in and, um, 
go into the salon or go in as you know makeup artist or what you know a prof you know like me I was a professional I was a consultant and I was a slave to the billable hour and I was billing um, you know six hours when I was working 10 to 12 hours so um, it was you know and I felt like I was limited the amount of time that I could spend so if you're like me um, and like for a lot of other people that are um, being successful here at Tyra Beauty. There's a lots of different ways of approaching this and building this life of more. And you can do this, um, I want to say, in a more elegant, uh, more authentic way. And that's really what I want to express here today is how to be authentic and real um, when it comes to sharing this opportunity. Because to be honest with you, this isn't for everybody but it's for a lot of people. And in fact, it's for a lot more people than I even thought, okay? So I was kind of a skeptic when I first started. Um, I loved the products um, and I was selected as a Fierce 200. And I was like, well, why not? You know, I've seen other people succeed in this business and have allowed um, them to have a little bit more flexible life. I was feeling a little bit kind of like, ah, I was, you know, oh, feeling like I could only grow my uh, consulting business so big um, with the amount of hours that I had. And then of course I had to have all the other hassles of um, employees and all this other sort of stuff. So that's why I kind of dabbed into uh, Tyra Beauty. But I have seen a lot of people with a lot of different walks of life. So for example, um, Alex Bernecki, I know started in this business um, purely as a customer and kind of transitioned herself into a consultant because she was looking for, you know, being able to sell or be able to make, uh, earn some free makeup and then kind of took off and was able to quit her full-time job. And then you also have mothers out there um, that are uh, like Kalika Miller that are able to focus full time with being with her son and working this, at, you know, in a part time capacity and really building this life of what I call this life of more, more time, more financial freedom and a lot more fun. So let me share with you today about how to build this life of more. So what I'm going to do is I'm really just going to, like I said, break it down. I'm going to keep it simple like I did with the other three steps. Again, if you have had not but had a chance to take a look and you're either A, new to the business or um, you're relaunching your business or you're just interested in how you can be the better beauty tainer or the better businesswoman. Um, so I encourage you to uh, watch all the uh, three steps that I'm offering. One is about how to get started, right? How to start your business. And two is how to make sales, right? That's what we're in business for. And the third part is also um, uh, about creating and building this life of more by sharing this opportunity. So. To be honest with you, growth happens by duplication with this system, okay? So there is a simple system. They've been doing, you know, this is not the first direct sales social selling company that's been out there. They've been doing this for a long time and it's really succeeding. In fact, this industry is growing more than most industries out there and traditional um, retailers and businesses are looking into this model similar to Tyra Banks herself because it has been so, it's so genuine. A lot of big companies are trying to keep it, what we're doing is more one-on-one -on -one, um, in regards to sales and making it more relatable. And that's what we're doing. And so in, to be honest with you, we are actually on the forefront of a lot more innovation in regards to sales and product placement and also product of, um, promotion. Um, than any other companies that are out there. And so just to let you know, you know, I'm always reading those business journals. That's just who I am. Um, so I just wanted to let, you know, kind of keep it real. So with this business, like I said, it's all about duplication. And what do I mean by duplication? What I mean is that what you do, this, you know, whatever small or large tasks that you do, you want to make sure that you do, you share that and build on that. Now I'm gonna reference here a document that I actually added just shortly before, which is basically 
stacking up those bank signs. And in here, I really break down what I mean by duplication, okay? So for example, when you sign somebody up, and uh, or when you sign up, right, you wanna sell, you wanna put yourself, and I talked about this in the, in the part two, is you wanna get yourself into selling $500 a month with Tyra Beauty. Okay, now I sometimes I can take time to build up. I'm not asking you to do that immediately, but to be honest with you, I know it's possible because I've done it and I've seen lots of other people that are doing it too. And so there are lots of tips and tricks on how to sell. Jerrica Mortensen is a perfect example. Jillian um, is also another perfect example. Sue, um, uh, uh, Teresa, I could, I mean, Alex, uh, I mean, there, there's so many people. Emily Fox is another one that are seeing success. And so if you are struggling, reach out to those individuals that are finding success or ne never hesitate to ask other people on America's Next Top Team what is succeeding with them, okay? So I broke down that sales system that should work with you. And what I'm talking about with that $500 a month is sometimes it takes a little time to build, okay? But in doing that, I know it's possible in the first month that you start this Tyra Beauty business to sell over $500 because you know what? I did it and I see other people doing it. So sometimes if you stop yourself short, like, oh, there's no way I could sell 500, right? Then you won't sell 500. But if you challenge yourself to set this goal of, of, of selling 500, selling 1,000, selling $2,000, you will you will be pushed to that direction to sell in that direction okay so i encourage you to put in that put in your mind that $500 okay so as i was saying earlier there's this document here that talks about that okay this duplication and follow these um, simple steps that I'm going to be breaking out um, to start living this life of more, right? With your Tyra Beauty business and helping others doing the same, okay? Because with with building a life of more, it's all about sharing and sh uh, coaching these other individuals to do exactly what you do. So put in your mind $500 a month and sharing with others to do the same, okay? And with that comes duplication, okay? So how do I do that, right? I always love to say, you gotta break it down. So um, basically you wanna share the opportunity um, by adding, I, I say, two new partners a month. And now to be honest with you, with it being free, that is so much easier. I know it was weird because in a lot of ways it was a better deal in the past, but for, for some weird reason, this free has been just off the hook. We've had over 500 people this month sign up. And I know there's a lot of them that have joined our team because there has been constant sort of welcoming people into our crew. And I see our um, crew numbers just going up. So um, congratulations to everybody who's gotten a new crew member. And then also, welcome to all you new beauty tainers. So hopefully this will be helpful if you are just starting and you're interested in really taking this business to a whole new level, maybe retiring yourself or, you know, whatever your wishes are. Let's, let's break this out so that we can help you, okay? So basically, how you want to do this is you basically, right, you want to sell $500 a month. And then you want to add two new people to do uh, to do the same a month, okay? And you keep doing that, right? And those two new people, right, add two new people, and those two new people add two new people. You see how it kind of escalates? And I've broken it down basically in this document to show you in literally less than four months, if you continue to do that whole sort of process, you can earn, um, based on your commission and the team, of over $2,600 a month, okay? So that, that's a lot of bank signs, right? In four months, okay? Now, of course, we are, you know, I've been in business for a while. I know that, you know, that's an ideal world, so I wanna just kinda keep it real with you. Yes, is this possible? Yes, it is possible. Now, is it uh, difficult to always have somebody who's willing that you sign up that's gonna go with the 500? that's going to be hard sometimes. Some people come in and they're like, I just really want to make, you know, 
I just want to have some discounts, right? Less so now because it takes a little bit more time and effort for them to get become a beauty tainer, but that that does happen. Or there's people that will sit on the back seat of their business a year later and then they'll come back in. So there's lots of different ways that people come in. But as I said, and I broke it down into this system, is that if you sell $500 a month and you coach and you bring in two new people to your business a month, and coach those two people to do exactly what you're doing, then within that four month period or six month period or a year, you too can earn this 20, over $2,600 a month. And that's some serious bank signs. And then from there, it explodes, to be honest with you. If you get to this level, your business really starts escalating and it kind of takes on its own life. And um, I'm here to testify exactly like that because I have over 2,000 people on my team. Okay, so just like, wow, how did that happen in two years? So it, it just, it can happen. And it can ask, you know what, to be honest with you, this can be grown even faster. Um, I see, you know, Sammy Gathercole, um, who I'm trying to think of all the various different people that are just kicking butt and taking names with in regards to recruiting, and this is exactly how it's done, okay? But you wanting to make sure that you put in their minds to sell $500 a month, just like you're gonna put in your mind to sell $500 a month, because you need $500 a month to be able to earn off of your team, okay? So if you do that, you sell $500 a month, you coach a new uh, partner to do the same, I, I see those thumbs, thumbs, you're like, yes, I love this. You could earn that 26, 000, over $2,600 a month in just four months, right? Sounds great. Um, this could really allow you to quit your job, right? Um, that the job that you hate, work one less day in the salon, create a retirement fund that allows you to ease um, to do it easier um, and have a lot more fun doing it. Okay, so refer to this document if you're in, if you're curious. But as you can see, duplication is the key. So to put in your mind. Sharing the um, sharing the opportunity with as many people as you can, right? Using that five three two method that I talk about using uh, um, in the getting started, and also talking about it in the stacking up your bank signs. So using that, you know, connecting with people is key, okay? But by adding them two new people to your crew a month, okay? So then, um, then I go about is this. You know, how do I do this, Sandra? Okay, so you were telling me how this is done, but okay, so really, really, how do I connect with people? How am I going to be able to relate and do this elegantly, right? How do I become this elegant recruiter that you're talking about? Okay, well, let's what? We're gonna break it down. We're gonna break it down into this document that I showed you about here too. So if you wanna reference that, please feel free to do that. It's Building a, a Life of More, Sharing the Opportunity, um, created by me, your Fierce Beauty CEO, Sandra Torgerson Gould. So how do you do this, okay? And so let's just break this down. First and foremost, you want to connect. You connect with people that are on your wet list, which is what I just talked about it. You want to do it consistently. You want to use that 532 method to build rapport with people. Now, I'm going to give you a quick, quick, you know, what do you mean by this 532? So connecting, it's part of your getting started guide. It's also part of your sales system. It's also part of the recruiting system. It is really crucial to your business. It is a daily activity that you do. You connect with five people a day, okay? So basically like, hi, how are you? One, happy birthday, two, let's go out for a cocktail, three, how's your day going at work, four, right? Hey, talking to somebody um, in the espresso line. There's five, five people a day. You do it really honestly already. You want to, the three part is you want to follow up with three people. And that's usually where I like to use more of my business side of following up. So either they've expressed the interest in the business and or the opportunity, and you're wanting to follow up with them. Every day you want to have three people that you're following up with. Is it a customer that purchased something a long time ago and you want to just see if they need a new mascara or want to try the new lipstick, okay? That's following up, okay? Two is adding two new people to your list a day, okay? So that keeps our, our, our list 
fresh, okay? So you met somebody new at this um, at Easter on Sunday. That is on your list, you know, that is seemed seem to be interested in the products. Um, so that's a follow-up, okay? Then, um, so using that 532 method on a daily basis to create rapport with people, okay? And I want it, the rapport is important, okay? Then um, number two on the list of connecting is conversation with a purpose. Now, what do I mean by conversation with a purpose, right? Like, what? I have conversations all the time, Sandra. What does purposeful conversation mean? Well, it's about sharing with others, right, and asking questions about um, and getting to know that person and finding out what's important to them. Okay, then customize your approach when talking about the opportunity. Okay, so that's what this conversation with purpose is. It's basically chit chatting, right? Getting to know this individual with a purpose in mind of thinking, gosh, you know, um, is this, you know, is the products great? Is the opportunity what this person wants? Or is it both, right? Um, and not always thinking of your conversations as purely like, what can I get from them? But it's honestly this, this honest connection that you two can share. So, you know, you might have similar things. You know, you might have both kids in dance class and they're like, yeah, oh, that's awesome. What team are you on? And then you've actually developed a really awesome friend. And through that friendship, you develop a rapport. And when you develop that rapport, you have the ability for them to want to support you, okay? And that's where those doors open for you to be able to share the opportunity and or the opportunity to purchase products, okay? So you really wanting, when you're meeting somebody or you're even in a conversation that you even, you person who you know, think about how you can have a conversation with them and find out what's important to them. Okay, but I wanna break that down even further because I wanna share with you how to do that, okay? And getting to know them is, is basically finding out the following things through basically a casual conversation. What do they do, right? Are they married? Do they have children, right? Is there things that you can relate to them about, right? And you, if you're like, oh my gosh, I have kids too, right? I have older kids, but you have younger kids. Oh wow, I remember what it was like, right? Relate, okay? Um, then what's important to them? Find out what's important to them. Are there kids? Um, are there, you know, is riding bicycles really important? Is traveling really important? What is it that makes them tick, you know? Ask them, you know, they love wine. What kind of wine do they like, right? Is it white wine or is it red wine? What is it that is making, what's important to them, right? The whole purpose is finding out what's important to them. And then if you have the ability and you've established a relationship and you can kind of sense that they're kind of into the conversation, then you can gracefully um, ask them possibly what their pains are. You know, not necessarily like what their knee pains are or this or that, but what is it in their life that they'd like to change that isn't making them happy? Okay, and I'm not talking about their husbands or their. You know, I mean, we're not we're not therapists too much like that, right? We can listen to that, but maybe what it is 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 um, they work full time and they spend so much money on childcare. What are they going to do, right? Um, you know, are they financially stressed? Um, financially strapped? Are they? You know, they'd like to have more, more vacation times, but don't have a vacation fund. Um, are they stressed at work? We have, they have a horrible boss that puts a lot of pressure on them. Um, not enough time with family. Okay, so figuring out what it is about them that they'd like to maybe change about their life that is causing them what I call pain, right? Something that they'd like to change. Something that isn't really pleasant, okay? Um, so if you ask about, um, once you figure out those sort of things and you've kind of in a conversation. This is a perfect time, um, you know, if they're asking about you, be genuine, you know, try to find things that are relatable, try to find things that you you kind of, you know, are similar. You don't have to be entirely similar with this individual for them to partner with you either. You might be uh, this person and this person is way over here and it's, you guys can still be partners in this business and thrive in this business. That's not what I'm saying is, but let's let's say for example, they start asking about you. You know, maybe throw, 
um, if they ask about you, um, throw in and ask uh, what you do. You know what I mean? I work at a dental office full time. And my real passion is my Tyra Beauty business. Do you see how I'm kind of taking, you know, like I am a stylist, but my real passion is my Tyra Beauty business. So you have the ability to kind of, you know, kind of talk a little bit about Tyra Beauty, but not in your face, right? They're asking about you. Go ahead and let them know that you love your Tyra Beauty business and that, you know, you're really interested in building this business because I want to live this life of more too. Um, and it's okay to share that. You don't have to feel um, scared about communicating those sort of things. Hopefully this is making sense so far. If you have any questions, sometimes I end up just talking a little too much, but I wanna make sure that I offer to you, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in and or connect with me personally. I'm happy to help you break this down a little bit further so that um, this makes sense for you. Or if there's a question for you. Again, this document that I'm talking about, oh, Carla, you're so sweet. Thank you. I love it, she says. Um, Thank you. I appreciate you saying that. Um, but basically, I just want to make sure that, you know, we're just kind of keeping this informative for you guys, but not feeling like I'm preaching at you. So feel free to engage with me. I'm happy to answer those questions for you, okay? Um, so basically, like I said, you know, share the, oper you know, you have a little opportunity or grab out your lip gloss, right? And put that right on or a lipstick that looks amazing on you, especially during Easter. You guys, this is a great opportunity. If you haven't seen family in a long time, or you're going to a, um, you know, an Easter party at a friend's house that you've never been to, this is a great opportunity for you to really use these skills that I'm talking about today and practice them. And of course, you know, at the first time, to be honest with you, it's going to be kind of awkward. And you'll be like, oh God, what did I, what, ah, how do I do this? You know, it's okay. Because the more you do it, practice, practice, practice makes, makes perfect. Okay. The better and the better and better you get at it. Okay. So using these things, you, t you know, reviewing this document and I have, like I said, some scripts in here that will really help you. Okay. So um, also feel free to share if they've asked you about you, give them little, you know, little feedback and stuff like that and saying, you know what, how, um, how have you, you know, how you heard about Tyra Beauty, right? I heard about Tyra Beauty through a client of mine, um, told me I should take a look at it, right? I saw it on Q QVC or I saw her at America's Next Top Model sharing about the products, right? So it's okay to let them know how you heard about Tyra Beauty and why you decided to sell. Hey, I thought I'd just do this because I wanted free makeup, right? No, I thought this was an incredible opportunity to partner with Tyra Banks and I'm ready to build an empire and live this life of more now, right? You can be whatever you are, whatever it is, just keep it real. Okay, Carla, I'm gonna ask, okay, I get asked all the time how I am in the top 10 of the recruiting all the time and what you said is exactly how I do it. You could never put um, but I could never put it into words. Oh, honey, that is, <laughs> Carla, thank you so much for saying that. It's because you're relating to people, right? You're actually, you're, you're finding out what's important to them. What is it about this opportunity, right? Your ideas are, is learn about them. Customize your approach so that um, the opportunity is more about what it offers them, not about you. Because what is happening at the very beginning of your business, right? You always are like this, shoving it right in people's face. You should be joining. You should join. This is amazing. Ah, I'm so excited. You've got to join, right? And people are like, okay, I get it. You're excited. I'm psyched that you're excited. But I'm not excited because I don't see me in this business. I see you. And so when you start saying, gosh, you know what? I know women like you that are able to live this life of more because of blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go more further into that. So Carla, I'm glad that this is really putting some words to it so that you can share this with your team and uh, really be able to teach them these wonderful skills that you obviously have. So congratulations. Um, okay, 
So there you go. We had a conversation with a person purpose, right? We're gathering all this information and not just because we want to always think of them as just a prospect or just a customer, but also that they're potential friends. This is a great, this is business is so amazing in so many different ways because we get paid for connecting and talking to people. I mean, for me, that is like awesome. That's why I said, if you are not a social person and you don't like being social with people, this business is something that you may want to reconsider because this business is about that, okay? I just want to keep that real. And the more you're connecting with people, the more you're, you're eager to get to know people and be friends with people, the more success you find here at, um, at any direct sales or um, social selling company. It's just what it is. It is, and for me, that just juices me. Like, I'm like, I get to be able to hang out and be friends with people and share a little bit about what I do I mean, this is this is like, you know, I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> I'm like, woo! -hoo! And so if you have that sort of, you know, personality a little bit, or even if you're willing to push yourself to that personality just a little bit, um, you actually will see success here um, with Tyra Beauty. Okay, so um, customize your conversation about the opportunity to reflect the opportunity available to them and what's important to them. Okay, so what I'm saying here is gather all this information and customize your approach to the business. So, for example, you saw somebody who who is a full, you know, works at a dentist's office and is hates her job, right? She has got kids and she's stressed out. She's a little bit strapped. Okay, so this is an example of what I would say. So it's a mother working full time in a job she hates and would love to spend more time with her young family. Okay, what do I say? Okay, this is where I talk about scripts and hopefully this will help. And again, you can customize this. I have a business that helps women like you spend more time with their kids by building a business part time simply by sharing. I would love to schedule some time um, love to schedule some time with you and explain how this is done. I love. I think. Um, I think you would love it, especially since you already love Tyra Beauty and need to find a way for that expensive childcare. I have some time on Saturday morning. We could meet for coffee and we could learn more about. I could learn more about you and see if this just might fit. If if not. No worries. I only want to pursue this if you think this might be a fit for you after you learn more. Okay? So what you're doing there is you're taking this conversation. You see this person who is interest, who you think might be interested of living this life of more, who really, really wants that, right? Is kind of tired, wants to spend more time with their kids, right? And you have an incredible opportunity to be able to share that with them. And they could like you live a life of more together you know ah how, how awesome is that so really you haven't i don't know about an obligation but you know what kind of because you know what she wants what you've got and she's got what i wants what i've got right and so we we can sh we really do have something amazing to share okay and you simply and if you notice if you broke down that conversation first of all i I have a business that helps women like you or men like you, right? Or salespeople like you or salon owners like you or mothers like you, okay? So like you, right? So you want to relate that because you know what? There's lots of stories out there and that's why it's important for everybody. And next week we're going to talk about what people, people um, within our uh, group are really going to come out and do some lives about what you know why they're succeeding what it is it what is their you know why did they choose Tyra Beauty right and you're gonna be able to share those stories with with these people okay and then um, then ask for a meeting a specific meeting so you're not just saying, I have a business that helps women like you oh cool that's great what is that <laughs> you're like what say Instead of that, right, then it goes off to you spilling out all this information about our comp plan. 
<laughs> and it just, just doesn't go anywhere there, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna set up a business meeting with them, okay? Whether or not it's on the telephone or whether or not it's actually in physical. But what you really want to do, your purpose is, is for you to be able to sit down and really dive into getting no, to know them a little bit more, okay? And then being able to even more customize the opportunity for them and helping them almost figure out what their why is before they even start, okay? And so you really, you, say, you know, you wanna set up, you know, I have some time on this day, would you be available? Um, you know, no worries, you know, again, relating it to what is their pains, right? She has, it's hard, uh, what did I say here? It's, um, you know, she's got expensive childcare, right? You're relating it back to her woes, her problems, right? Um, and then, you know, I'd like to get to know, you know, I see, you know, see if this might fit for you, right? And of course, at the very end is giving them a way out because you don't want to be pressuring somebody, right? That's not your point. And you know, you don't ever want to have somebody sign up because they have feel forced to. No, 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 no. So what you want to do is you really want to be able to offer this opportunity for them and see if it might just fit. And so at the end of the conversation, you're saying, you know, if it doesn't fit, no worries. Um, I only want to pursue this if this might be a fit for you. And again, what you're coming back as is that you care about that individual, that that individual is important to you, and they should be because they're, pre, they're human beings, right? They do have lots of, of um, assets and woes and trials and tribulations and things like that. And you are giving them the opportunity of living this life of more, okay? So um, just to also as a side note here too, this can be done with people through social media. Um, Sammy Gathercole is a perfect example of how she actually is utilizing some of these techniques through social media. Um, and I know for her, um, she's been very successful and she's really taking it more on that personal side of things. I know her and I talked about these specific things and I know it's really been useful and helpful for her is taking, you know, taking a little extra time through people that she's met through social media to really find out what's important to them, even if it's just going onto their Facebook page profile and figuring out, you know, what their posts are. Do they have kids, right? These are things that you can prep and allow for you to customize your approach to them after you have create rapport, okay? So you only really present the opportunity after you've developed a relationship with them. Never drop or cold call or do any of those sort of things. You really wanna make sure that what you're doing is you're creating a relationship first and figuring out what's important to them and then basing the conversation um, of the opportunity based on what is important to them. Okay, hopefully that helps. Okay, so now that you've done that, right, and you are, um, they are signing up like hot, you know, what is the, hot cakes, I don't even know if that's a saying. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, so now they're signing up, right, at least two a month, if not more, and you're ready, you're like, woohoo, it was awesome. Now it's time to put your coach's hat on and help your partners in this biz to do the same that you just did, right? Um, so that they can su su succeed too and grow, uh, growth comes from this duplication process, okay? So share with them the three-step pro the three-step program that I'm talking about, right? The getting, you know, getting started. What do you do when you first start your business? There's some core activities that you can do. Have your launch party. And then you move on to, you know, consistent sales, putting in your mind you want to do five hundred dollars a month and teaching them that they can do that, right? If they do these consistent things on a monthly basis, they will see that, okay? And sometimes, like I said, it's not instantaneous. Sometimes it's more than instantaneous. People already have customer bases, hallelujah. But I also see people that um, it takes some time. So time meaning two or three months. I always say the thing, the actions that we put forward now, you're going to see in two to three months from now, unfortunately, right? You want I mean, instant gratification, but it, it just doesn't happen that way. So your efforts that you put in now will be uh, realized um, 
you know, within the, you know, within a two or three month period. Okay. So consistent actions, even when you're not, um, seeing them immediately, they will, and you just need to let go of judgment on that and let other people, you know, other people do business differently. And just because you run off slow does not mean that you're going to be a failure with this business. Um, and, and so also you know, if you've gone off really strong and you're not doing these consistent actions, you um, you may fall off and your business may not be as consistent and, and amazing as you thought. So again, even if you've started really amazing or you're going off to a little bit slower start, using those, you know, consistent actions and teaching your team to do those consistent actions is key for success, okay? So at the bottom of the page, I talk about um, sharing the following um, documents that I created, your Fierce Beauty CEO, um, so that they can see succeed. One is the uh, Getting Started program alongside of the Getting Started Guide, um, which is uh, part one. Then also stacking up those bank signs, which is a part two, which is the sales system I just talked about. And then building this life of, re of more recruiting system and sharing with them um, this whole system here is something to look forward to, right? If they, if they do, you know, if they sign up, sell 500, share enough with people to uh, add two people a month. And through that consistent action and sharing and coaching others to do the same, they, in four month time, can earn over $2,600 um, in commission in team and in personal sales. So, um, and of course, if you beef those up, um, it just is quicker to get there and a little bit more consistent. So just FYI, okay? So um, I think that's about it in regards to um, the uh, building a life of more recruiting system that I have created for you alongside of other leaders here at Tiger Beauty from the years of experience that we've had um, in life and also the few years that are a couple years experience that I've had here with Tyra Beauty. So if you, um, you know, do these things on a consistent basis and really relate to people and talk and develop a rapport, you will find success in recruiting. Feel free to review those documents and um, let, you know, help those, you know, those little scripts there should really help you um, break that down. So hopefully today was really helpful for you in regards to um, stacking up those bank signs and creating this life of more that I talk about. We really do have um, a better way. Our better way is that we have the ability to build a life of more flexibility in our time, more financial freedom, to be able to do the things that we love to do, whether or not it's traveling, spending more time with our kids, buying a new iWatch, whatever it is, right? And also having a lot more fun with all the various different, um, you know, being social in this business, but additional, the incentives, trips, talking about, you know, going down to Mexico with a big group of uh, leaders here within our team and having a great old time. So we truly do have um, have a better way. Um, instead of making other people rich, we can make ourselves rich. So <laughs> rich in life, okay? So without uh, further ado, I want to announce an amazing thing. Um, and I am going to go off live here and present it um, independently. But I just wanted to share, I have created an incredible um, uh, personal t uh, sales title system and a team promotions title uh, system that I'm really excited to share. Alongside of that also comes with some team's incentives that I'm crossing my T's and dotting my I's with. So um, I will um, let you guys know, but I'm gonna jump off here for the sake of keeping this video really clean, but also wanted to just give you a little taste test of what to come in another live video here shortly. You guys have a fabulous day. Thank you so much. And I look forward to building this life of more with all of you guys. Thank you for joining me and have a fabulous day. And enjoy Easter and use that opportunity to connect and develop rapport. Have a great day. Bye-bye.